To solve the two-sum challenge in Python, we need just a few lines of code. The function wants to find two numbers in an array that add up to a target and return their indices in order. Given a list of numbers and a target value, we can use a hash map for. Therefore, we first create a function called toSum where we pass a list of integers and a target value to. Then we return a list of integers as well. Next, we create an empty numMap dictionary to track which number have been seen. Then we iterate through each element in nums using enumerate function to get both the index i and value num. Now we create a complement variable where we subtract the num from the target. After we check if the complement does already exist in the numMap dictionary, if so, we found the matching values, and we return the index of the complement and the current index i as well. Else, we add the current number and its index i to the map dictionary. The return with an empty list is a failsafe for code robustness and readability. To visualize the output, we first create a match variable where we pass the result of the toSum function with the inputs nums and target2, and then use print to show the result. As you can see, it's here index 0 and 1 because 3 plus 4 equals 7. Another way to check this is to use brute force method or exhaustive search, which checks every possible pair of indices to find the pair that sums to the target. Given the same function, we get a bit different way. Here we loop over then indexes in the range of the len of the nums list. Inside here we do the same for the index j in the range starting by index i plus 1 and the goes to the end of the list. This ensures we don't miss a valid pair. Then we add the value at index i to the value at index j and check if it equals the target. If so, we return the two indexes and then close it again with the empty list return. When we run this, we see the same result. This is inefficient, but I think simpler to understand. And these were two ways to solve the two-sum challenge.